Cadillac fans, Daniel here and welcome back to the Jet Fuel Only channel. Today we are installing and reviewing the Extreme Online Store or EOS front carbon fiber splitter for the base and V-Sport model CTSs. This is part of a three video series for the CTS where we're testing out some of their new parts for the base model CTS including side splitters and wicker bill spoilers so be sure to look for those videos in the next couple weeks. Extreme Online Store has been making carbon fiber and ABS parts for Mustangs, Camaros, Corvettes and even the CTS. CTSV for quite a while now. In fact, about four years ago, I purchased one of their CTSV carbon fiber splitters to see if I could get it to fit on the V-Sport, and I did, but I broke it pretty quick. Now, EOS did provide these parts for me to show you how to install them, but I will tell you the opinions in this video are my own, and with that being said, I do have to tell you that EOS has had a little bit of a history of having some poor quality assurance. In the past, like when I bought that CTSV splitter, there was problems in the carbon fiber weave, uh, the epoxy, and some people have said that some parts just didn't quite fit right. Now these CTS parts are part of a new line for them, and so I think they've improved their manufacturing process. And with that being said, the ones they've given me look absolutely perfect and fit absolutely perfect. And I can tell EOS is trying to improve their quality assurance in general. It says on their website that they're going to inspect every part before shipping it out and even repolish as necessary. I've been down to their warehouse. It's not far from my place. And I've seen them getting all their carbon fiber and plastic parts in and they're checking them out and then packaging them up right there to ship domestically. Also, if you do have a problem with one of their parts, they will accept returns or exchanges if the part is not good quality. But let's face it, folks. At this price point, you can't really expect A plus quality. There's a reason that GM is gonna charge thousands of dollars for similar parts uh, for the Corvette or the CTS-V. I mean, getting carbon fiber to look right takes a lot of good skilled labor. And at a price of only $359.99 for the carbon fiber front splitter or the front splitter in ABS plastic for $189.99, you just can't expect perfect quality, but you're likely to get a pretty good part, I think. So how about we take a closer look at these parts and check out the packaging and quality, and I'll show you how to install it. The front splitter is so easy. I bet even your grandma can do it. Let's get started. Let's have a look at the EOS Carbon Front Splitter. It came in a pretty big box and wrapped nicely in foam paper and plastic with the necessary hardware. You can see it is in excellent condition. I didn't see any imperfections on it at all, actually. It's nice that it has these rubber washers attached where the splitter touches your bumper. Overall, I found it really nice, including this mirrored weave at the center of the splitter, which is a nice touch. Now last year I did a review on the Savage front splitter and you may think these look identical but they are a little different. Below is mine wrapped in gloss black vinyl and here it is on two different cars. Remember my car is lowered on the right. The parts are pretty similar, but the Savage one has a lip that continues underneath the front edge of the splitter as well. To install the EOS front carbon fiber splitter, you'll need a few tools. You'll need a seven millimeter socket, a T15 Torx to remove the tire deflectors, and you'll need something to drive them, like maybe a screwdriver or a ratchet, but it's pretty low to the ground, and if you don't jack up the car, you might want something like this. This is a gimbal ratchet, and it's really great for tight spaces. You can buy it via a link in the description below. Also, I like to use electric power tools, so this Ryobi is great at only 45 bucks. It's super compact, but if you really want to drive those screws, get one of these DeWalt XR drivers. You can find links to these tools in the description below. And for easy access, you should have a jack and jack stands, but not required. All right, let's get started on this easy install. Here's my car without a splitter. It is a lowered car, so it helps to roll up on wood blocks like this so I can get my jack under the nose. You may be able to do it on a normal height car. There's a jack pad right under the engine. You can use that to raise the vehicle or just use the ones on the side. Once you get the car up, be sure to support it safely on jack stands as you will be working under the car. But you don't even have to raise the car if you don't want. If your car isn't lowered like mine is, you can probably install the splitter no problem without lifting the car. Now, this is a great time to clean out under your radiator. A lot of debris gets under there. I took care of some of it, but I'll have to get the rest later. 
Under the bumper, there's a bunch of seven millimeter hex screws. We really only need to remove the outer three on each side, plus these tire deflectors. The tire deflectors aren't necessary. You can see the tire deflectors on my car are held on with one hex screw and the rest are T15 Torx screws. I don't remember what originally was on the end, if it was a hex or Torx, my car has been through a lot. So let's go ahead and remove three hex screws on the outer edge with the seven millimeter socket and do the same on the other side. I'm gonna save the last hex screw after I remove the tire deflector. So here I'm using a T15 Torx to remove the three screws that are holding on the tire deflector. And then grab that last one with the seven millimeter hex and it's off. Do the same for both sides. Now you can grab your new splitter and lay it out in front of the car. Have one screw in your hand, one of those seven millimeter hex, align the splitter into position, Then get one of the screws started on one side and then have another screw and get it started on the other side. And that will hold the splitter pretty much in place. After that, get your power tool or whatever tools you are using to tighten up the screws. You won't be able to use hex screws on the very ends. You'll wanna use the screws provided by EOS. There are two holes. Don't worry about drilling into the bumper, just screw it right into the plastic. The screws should go in no problem. After you've done that on both sides, your splitter is installed. That's right, it's that easy. Now go ahead and lower your car back down to the ground so you can admire your work. Be careful though, your nose may be a little bit lower and it may not clear the jack. I have to slightly flex the splitter to ensure my jack doesn't hit it. All right, that's it to installing the front splitter. One of the easiest mods to install on your CTS. Make sure you buy the one for the Basin V Sport model, not the CTS V because it won't fit. They are not compatible. Also, your car is a little longer in the nose and a little lower, so be careful with those driveways, the parking curbs, the speed bumps, and don't just pull up to the side of the sidewalk uh, nose forward. You wanna back in so you don't scrape up that beautiful splitter. Believe me, I know I've been through a few of them. So if you like this video, show me, hit that like button and subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified when my next videos come out. I'm gonna be doing the side splitters and the Wickerville spoiler or available from EOS so you'll want to know when that video comes out. Thank you so much for watching the Jet Fuel Only channel. I'll see you next time.